Fat people are reddit. What's something about being fat that you have to experience to truly understand? The futility of sucking in your stomach for photos. Chub rub. That's when the fat on your inner thighs rub together when walking and gets chafed. The subconscious act of putting something, book bag, jacket, etc. over your stomach when sitting down. The constant self-conscious pulling of the shirt away from your body to make sure your shirt hasn't folded into your rolls. At first you don't realize how much weight you are gaining. In your mind you still see yourself at the weight you once were. Sometimes I look at myself in the mirror thinking wow I look hot in this outfit when getting ready for a nice event. Then I see the pictures afterwards and all I see is how fat I actually look. That people think you're stupid. Incapable or somehow unable to have any talent. I draw for a living. I'm fat and rather ugly. I can't count the number of times people have admired the work around me. Then asked me directly. Me being the only one at the booth. Who did it? When I tell them it's all mine. They act like a miracle occurred. Or like they just discovered some idiot savant. Someone who's fat obviously can't do anything other than eat. Right? Ugly can only make ugly things too. Worse at that. If my booth is next to a pretty person, they'll look directly past me to them, then ask if all this, indicating their booth and mine, is theirs. It hurts a bit. Edit. Thank you, everyone, for your kind comments, and the gold. What a nice thing to come home to. I wish I was as fat as I was when I first thought I was fat. When a skinnier friend is leading the way through a crowded bar restaurant I get instant anxiety over being able to squeeze through the small gaps in chairs people she is squeezing through. Chair anxiety. Having to check out every chair before sitting in it to make sure it's sturdy enough to support my weight. Also, even the most comfortable sofa will eventually feel hard as a rock if you sit still long enough. And don't get me started on metal bar stools. Former 336 pounds guy here. Currently 220 pounds. Feeling so self-conscious when going out for a meal. I want to order a salad and assume everyone is thinking oh h you're eating a salad. Why even bother fatty? Or, I want burger and assume everyone is thinking oh h you're eating a burger. I guess that's why you're so fat fatty. The real reason why larger fat people wear braces. Suspenders to our American friends. It is because if you belt your trouser correctly for walking around, then when you sit down, then it is too tight for and you are in pain. Or alternatively, if they are slacker for sitting, then when you walk around the belt rolls off your stomach and then your trousers fall down. Wearing braces eliminates that problem. If you grow up being fat, the bullying, I'm thin now, and it has helped a lot, but back then I literally would never say the word fat. I'd look for another word to express what I wanted, and if people ever used the word fat, even if it wasn't meant as body fat, I would instantly get anxious. My heartbeat would go up and I'd just shut up and pretend I wasn't there. The thought of they said fat. Now they're all thinking about me and how fat I am stuck so hard in my head that even today, after 4 years of not being fat, I get a bit nervous, and I will never forget the first time I said the word fat. I remember thinking to myself there, I said it, fat, fat fat fat, it's okay, nothing happened, fat. Former 20 stone bloke here, body odor, it's not that you don't use spray and shower, it's a combination of the fact it's easier to sweat, and the fact that there are more places, weed, rolls, for the sweat to collect and hide away, moves are as uncomfy as duck when they bounce around. Going over speed bumps are the worst. The world is much larger because it's an ordeal to get places. Today I don't think anything of a 30 minute walk to the station. 90 minutes on the train and walking around the other end. But back then the walk would have knackered me. The train would have been uncomfortable as hell and I would have been dead walking around all day at the destination. Cubicle showers. I found it so hard to function in one. As my size meant there wasn't much room to do anything. And everything was so slippery as, well, it's a shower. I'm definitely not saying they need to be bigger. I'm not one of those people who demand the world be built to their size. But just saying, by the same token, chairs with armrests. 
Going out to eat and always having to request a table because you probably won't be able to fit in a booth. Profastination I'll just wait until I lose some weight to apply for that job. Ask that girl out. Play football with my friends. Go on vacation. Etc. For me as a child you were always kind of viewed with pity and disgust. Like if someone farted they expected it was you or anything gross like that. People just always viewed you as gross because a lot of stereotypes about fat people and it has ingrained in me a sympathy for those who are pitied. The feeling you get when you're getting dressed for the day. And start to realize that no matter what you wear you still look unattractive for society. It's like a sinking feeling and makes me not want to attempt to look good for that day. I feel like even if you smile at me, you'll secretly wondering how much I weigh. The perpetual state of always losing weight. Eating salads all week for lunch, exercising regularly, and counting my calories. But then it all being undone in a single night binge eating ice cream because of marijuana and depression. Then because you are depressed, you slowly go back to your old eating and exercising habits. You gain the weight back until the next time you get the motivation to try again. It sucks. Previously fat, now at a healthy BMI range and feeling good. The hardest part of being overweight for me was always feeling like the biggest girl in the room. I was always afraid that my husband was embarrassed to be in public with me when everyone else has a prettier girl with them. People are also less friendly when you're overweight. Guys and girls both. Nobody is outright mean. They just don't seem that interested in talking to you. The constant and ultimately futile effort of trying out tricks to not look fat. It's exhausting and everyone still sees you at exactly the weight you are even if they have no opinion on it. Stripes make me look thin and no they don't. That color looks better on my figure. No it doesn't. Baggier black clothes hide my rolls. Nope. I only realized how much this took over my life after losing weight. I ended up losing 70 pounds over the last couple of years and that stuff is still massively ingrained in my brain. I still catch myself tucking in my shirt in the gym so no one sees that I'm hiding rolls. I still suck in my stomach in photos or position myself at the back of the group so my body is hidden. I even make self-deprecating jokes about my weight and then realize I sound like a D because there's now people there that are bigger than me. I also still buy overly baggy t-shirts that don't even come close to my figure. That food can be just as much of an addiction as any form of drug can be. That being fat is the first thing people judge you by and fearing that's about as far as it goes. I went running on the treadmill the other day, humble brag. I did my first 5k yay, I hit the emergency stop button with my belly. Had a friend who said the shame of looking down elaborated with you would think the worst day is when you look down and can't see your d anymore. Then a bit later you do it again and can't see your feet. Not all fat people have boobs to match their waist. If I buy a shirt in my size that is made to accentuate my breasts I don't fill in the breast part. If I try on the same kind of shirt but one to fit my breasts the waist is too small. You can just go for a run or do whatever exercise. You've got X amount of fat and not enough muscle to support the weight. It's gonna hurt and cause injuries. Also the general immobility gets in the way. Just being fat makes it so much harder to actually do the things that would lead to you not being fat. Don't get me wrong. Most people understand you have to start small but they don't realize just how small some people have to start. Oh. And I almost forgot this one. Since my weight is mostly in my tummy for whatever ungodly reason. I get asked if I'm pregnant a lot. At least once every two weeks. And it doesn't matter what I'm wearing. I could be in jeans and a t-shirt, a sundress, a bathing suit, or a business suit. It's happened to me wearing all of those things and more. It used to make me cry a lot but I guess I'm used to it. I even have had people come touch my belly and say things like, Oh how far along are you? I just stood there in horror and shock that a, even if I was pregnant. How dare you touch me? I hear it happens though, from my friends with kids. And b, I look that pregnant? Once, I told a person that no, I was not pregnant, and they actually argued with me. Are you sure? Cause you look pregnant. I mean, there has to be a baby in there. No mom, I'm just fat. Nah, I think you need to take a test. So I just snapped back. 
I haven't had sex in over a year, lady, and she had the nerve to look offended by that, but at least she walked away, you, have, no, idea, this seriously makes me die a little inside whenever it happens. Flying on an airline is never comfortable, ever. Being buoyant is amazing. I can float vertically, body perpendicular to the water surface, with no movement, in fresh water, even, easily my favorite fat perk. How absolutely cruel people will be to you, and have no problem doing it, because people support their cruelty, you're not even human until you weigh less, like if you're not thin, you're nothing. 1. Stretch marks. 2. The constant hey, you're really fat now from family reunions. Like, yeah, I know I am. You don't have to bring it up like that's a new fact every freaking time you see me. Okay, unique one here, but encountering smelly people. As a fat guy, I do twice as much maintenance to maintain my personal hygiene. Twice as much brushing, more deodorant, more thorough showers. ETC. So if I just so happen to be standing next to a smelly, skinny guy, people always assume it's me. I can't blame them for assuming that. It's a reasonable deduction. Still frustrating though. Lots of people have problems they have to struggle with. Lifelong, difficult challenges. Obesity is no different. But it's public. Everyone can see your shame. It's so intensely private. Scrounging up the willpower to make changes again to your life. And everyone can see. When the fat guy starts eating carrots for lunch. Everyone knows. They say stuff. Even encouraging stuff. It's still awful. You are struggling for your life and honestly. You will likely ultimately fail. It's like being naked in public. Not being able to buy clothes on a whim. Having difficulty buying clothes at all. Walking down the street. Or look at that shirt in the window. It's a squirrel with a machine gun. I want it. Nope. They don't go above XL in that store. They don't go above XL in any store. Walmart will go up to 2X. But then it's Walmart clothes. I can spend hours digging through Goodwill Arc trying to find something. I can find one or two things at Walmart that aren't hideous and are well enough made to last more than a month. Or I can spend $60 for a single skirt from Lane Bryant. And with Lane Bryant. All their skirts and dresses are made for fat women that are also tall. I am not. Skirts that are pictured on a model as coming to their knees are mid-cuff on me. So I can't buy pants or dresses or maxi skirts there. There's one cut of skirt that will fit me. I just have to hope it stays in style. Those are literally my only options for buying clothes in person. Women deliberately avoid making eye contact because they don't want to accidentally encourage you. When you're feeling insecure, you remember that you're also fat so you feel fat and insecure, making you feel even worse. A second submission here. Being scared to lose weight because you think you'll get all that excess skin sticking around. Especially around your upper body and glutes. Going to the doctor for any health problem ends up being sent for a diabetes test. I have a sore knee diabetes. Bump on my head. Diabetes. Migraine. Diabetes. It's getting to the point I don't want to see the doctor. I actually bought a glucose meter and measure my blood sugar on my own. And it's actually very good. I tell them this. But it doesn't matter. I even bring in my glucose meter for them to look at. It doesn't matter. My health issues never get treated. But I sure have had a lot of diabetes tests. I've been fat since early teens. I wasn't ever tortured or treated horribly. It's always been subtle. A few years ago I had a boyfriend who introduced me to meth. I did a lot of meth. I lost a lot of weight. All of a sudden, everybody was nice to skinny me. Strangers. Family. Friends. I went home to see my family and they were all amazed and so encouraged. My head was a mess and I barely kept my job. But I wasn't so fat. Shortly after that I got pregnant and of course stopped. And gained back all the weight. People aren't so nice anymore but I'm much happier. So duck em. Bottom line. Society would rather I was a barely able to function meth head than fat. I've been both thin and fat. I remember being told a lot that I should dress for my body. What people don't realize when they say it like that. 
Besides that it's extremely rude, is that finding clothes for fat bodies is so difficult. Not everyone is fat in the same way. Clothes for fat people are not more flattering than regular clothing. They're just bigger and more boxy. The other thing you hear a lot is it like if you would stop drinking soda eating cake eating fried foods etc. You would lose weight. Yeah? I had no idea. Thanks. Fat people know why they're fat. Some are trying to change that. Some aren't. I was lucky enough to find something that worked for me that I was able to stick to. I lost the weight. But I was lucky. It's not as easy for some as it is for others. Especially when you go to the gym and people stare at you while you work out. It really really makes you not wanna ducking go in the first place. My sister and her husband are both bigger people and we go to Disney frequently because they try and make their rides suitable for bigger people. Well, when we went to Universal Studios, I could tell her husband wasn't very excited about going on rides and I found out why. He told us that he wasn't going to go on the first few rides with us because he knew he wouldn't fit. We then went to the Harry Potter Gringotts ride. Waited in line for an hour for him to try and sit on the cart, but he couldn't fit. My sister later told me that getting kicked off a roller coaster ride to him is the most embarrassing thing ever. This dude is a ducking lieutenant in our city's police force and was demoralized by a roller coaster. This broke my heart. Granted, Universal was super supportive and gave us tickets to go to the front of any rides of our choosing for the rest of the day. So props to Universal for being there to support him without missing a beat.